I'm a little surprised the TF isn't helping Maokai. Like, Maokai has his saplings, but they're not everything. He might just go back there later, though. He's going to... No, he's not. Is he? I can't. He's just pretending. And a starting shield. Everything just kind of starting normally. TF gets to lane a little bit faster, so Rise loses one CS. Blood red. Nothing really happens immediately. Jason Although Star. Jarvan going for that really early gank. And Mao like They don't know. Yeah. This oh, is going nice to do a lot of damage. Nice There's Flash. Blows both summoners. And Maokai just... He went Wolves second. So he's not going to be able to really do anything about this. What you'll see a lot of times is the jungler will immediately go to the enemy buff. Because he knows he did the level 2 gank. But because he started at his Wolves, he can't do that. That's a big win for bottom lane. But Maokai's heading top, so maybe something will happen there. Even things up a little bit. Although it is a Renekton. That's very close to a kill. That's... Oh, yep. That's first blood. That ignite. That red buff. So one thing I want to point out is... Renekton got the double slice and dice, but Maokai pushed him back with his arcane smash. He also used at least one of them before the Maokai jumped to him, so it really didn't gain him that much. Yeah, he gained distance from Aatrox, but not from Maokai. And this Jar Rene yeah, Jarvan has to be really careful. Aatrox can just kill him. Like, he has a free guardian Aatrox, angel. yeah. He's going to die. No, he's got uh, the that flash. Didn't need to flash there. I don't think he needed to. Anyway, Ash and Janna being pushed away bot lane, so that's pretty huge. Renekton is not going to go to beat that Aatrox. Yeah, Aatrox has a pretty large advantage. If Renekton can kind of hold the lane a little bit, he can survive, but he's taken so much harass. Jesus. That was a really ballsy slice and dice. Yeah. Jonna's going over to drag and we'll have to see if she places a green or a pink here. Nope. That pink's just gonna stay. No. But she's gonna get that green. And Maokai just kinda walks in. Although he had a trap earlier, so he didn't really have a choice. J4 pushing back with his TF. He's gonna go for the invade. And then he's it's, not. It's entirely possible that purple team will think that their lane isn't boarded now, and they'll walk through dragon and they won't go over for them. Yeah. Jungler's sitting in mid having a good time. Renekton sitting up top having a bad time. Bottom lane seems to have evened out a little bit. Caitlyn's still up in CS, but she's not just crushing anymore. That was a wasted exhaust. This is a little dangerous. 
Jarvan is coming. Yeah, but that pink ward. Muncher. What he can really do. Your neck can push away from top lane. Malka trying to gank this Rise, but not gonna happen. Rise got his uh, Kalos already, so he's gonna be safe. Yeah, Rise is really happy. TF walking into Jarvan. That was the shortest oh, EQ. Flash is burned, but nothing too ex definitive. TF's just gonna need to be careful about pushing up. I already have quite a gold lead. Just, it's just laning. It but looks like even though Renekton had to go back, Aatrox chose to go back and buy rather than trying to push any damage on that tower. Yeah, but I think he cleared out a wave or two of creeps, so he's gonna have the creep advantage. Like, he's up 17 CS right now. And he has a double wave. Maokai's bot, but I think they're a little too low for him to try. Yep. Maokai's just trying to do his stuff. Jarvan got his red buff. TF got his blue buff. I don't think they know about the Maokai. Okay, now they do. Maokai's here. Oh! And that's gonna that's be at least one kill. He's dead. So yeah, TF got out of Ryze's reach. And the Maokai. He follows your flash. Looks like Harold wants Dragon. I should be able to do it. There's no one who can really stop them from Team 1. They're actually going to get fairly low from it. So if they realized it was happening, Jarvan could have gone and just flagged over the wall. So that was pretty nice for Renekton there. He just got Aatrox's Bloodwell passive. Is Maokai going to die? No, nah, Maokai's not going to die, but it's kind of close. But yeah, as Aatrox, whenever your passive's down against Renekton, you're in a really dangerous situation. As I say that, Redactin dies. He got a little too greedy. But yeah, it's really tricky because your blood well's empty, which is really deceptively huge. Like, a lot of people don't realize how much attack speed you get from blood well. Aatrox should be fine here. He can maybe 1v1. Anyway, this is a pretty strong lead for Harold right now. They have 4,000, almost 4,000 gold, not quite. No, more like 3,000. Math. Let's see where that gold is. Oh, I should fix this. Three hundred is on Jana. Jana has a minor advantage. That's probably from Dragon. Yeah. Ash is um, a little bit behind. As expected, Aatrox is leagues ahead. So TF is way ahead. He got a bunch of gold from that kill. And then Aatrox is also way ahead. TF all in the mid. That's dead rise. Yep. TF all. It doesn't just gank other end, other lanes. 
Never want to be on the side where you went the offensive and you're the one getting killed when the enemy has barrier. Jarvan's moving in. Looks like Nami. Made it. Gonna get away. Jarvan should be fine though. Long. Although TF so, might TF get this is... Nami. He just shouldn't have his ult up yet, so... Yeah, he definitely doesn't have it. It's way out of order. Yeah, but if he hits this card... Let's see if the card. wild cards hit. Blind wild cards, let's see it. Oh! This Nami. That red card. But TF has a Lich Bane, so if he gets another proc... He's going for the AoE here. Is it gonna work? No. Oh, they all died. That was really well done. Like, TF had to flash, which was kind of bad, but other than that, they traded aggro. That's gonna be a tower, that's gonna be more gold advantage. Package is just crushing it. Like, they're just winning every single lane. Being against a fed Aatrox is really unfortunate, is really unhappy. Like, he has so much sustain. But on top of his sustain, he has harass. And he's going in for the tower dive. Should have blood well, it doesn't look like yep. he's gonna need it. Yeah, he has blood well, he has the E. Renekton's just so far behind right now. It and looks Aatrox like he's finally gonna tower. take the turret. Rise, he was too fast, but he decided to fight. That's pretty ballsy. I don't really Old agree card, with that. TF going back in. Yeah. yeah, Rise, you're against a guy with a Lich Bane. Who was 3 0 at that point. Mr. Necton, so sad. And Ryze went Rod of Ages, so he's not gonna even get a real power spike from that item yet. I'm not really sure why he would go for a fight. And it makes sense to me, it's a bunch of health. It makes sense from that standpoint, but it's not gonna be at its full power yet. So he can't really fight until it strengthens up. That is one thing that works really well with Ash. You have a global ganker, so you can just dictate whenever someone dies. I still probably would have liked that Zyra more because it's even stronger, but Ash Aatrox just gonna hop over the wall. Yep, but Ash TF yes, is just I decide when you die. Oh, yeah, Aatrox just flashes. TF has really aggressive positioning there. He would have died if Ryze had come down. He's got a kill though. Yep. And purple team's getting dragon while they're having mid push, so they can't contest. Yeah, this game seems to be much, pretty much a stomp. Package is just winning at everything. Like, bot lane was having some issues early on, but then a TF gank, a Maokai gank. And it's all good. That is one of the problems with Caitlyn Nami, is that you don't really have kill potential unless Nami hits her bubble, which is really hard to do on demand. And even then it's like bubble and then a slow, and a minor knockup. So they won the lane, but they couldn't feet they couldn't just snowball off of it really easily. Poor Renekton. Aatrox just gets to spam E every single cooldown. 